All right, welcome back everybody. Another Bee Mother review. And today we've got from Connecticut. This is their War Heroes diorama. Uh, features a couple famous Street Fighter characters. We've got Charlie Nash up here on the right. And then probably more recognizable to most people, we've got Guile down here on the left. Uh, Guile, of course, was played famously by one of my childhood heroes, Jean-Claude Van Damme, in the 1994 movie Street Fighter. Uh, it's one of those uh, so bad it's good type of movies that you might have enjoyed as a kid. So, anyways, you might be wondering, okay, like these statues, they just came up for pre-order within the last couple weeks. So what gives? Why do I have them here in front of me right now? Well, these are a couple product or production samples from Connecticut that are on loan just for this video, just to bring it to you as a as a more of a preview than a review, actually. Um, so it's two separate statues. So we'll take a look at each one separately. Uh, they do come together to form this diorama, uh, and then we'll take a look at them together. And I'll give you my thoughts on the whole piece separately, each one, and then as a whole together. So enough of that preamble. Let's get into the preview. All right, we're going to start off with Charlie Nash. Uh, sometimes he goes by just Charlie or sometimes just Nash, depending on the game. Um, I'm going to be perfectly honest right off the start. I'm not super familiar with this character. Um, he was technically in Street Fighter 2 by name. He was part of Guile's backstory in that game, um, but didn't appear until Street Fighter Alpha, which came out after, but was technically a prequel. Uh, and then he showed up again in later games um, kind of as almost like a zombie type guy a frankenstein style guy brought back from the dead where he's got a big scar across his face this outfit you see him in here is kind of his uh, origin uh, outfit the green cargo pants and you got kind of the orange vest there uh, and shirtless underneath he's got his signature hair kind of the wild uh, cowlick there that's out of control um, so this is very uh, game accurate uh, outfit. Um, he's on top of a jet turb turbine here for the base. And it's a pretty cool base. I like the detail they've given the, the turbine engine here. Really nice paint work in there. Uh, you've got wiring here. You can see all the shards of metal as he kind of jumps on top of this thing. Each one of these is a separate piece and they are numbered. So, uh, you know, this one's number seven and you look for slot number seven on the base and it slots into place like that. Uh, Nash himself comes in a few different pieces. Um, each arm is a separate piece and it fits in with magnets. His vest is kind of a separate piece too. So you, you put that on, put the vest on and then the arms go in after, which is kind of neat. Um, I like the, the flash kick trail, the blue trail uh, with the clear resin here. Really nice effect there. I like the glasses on his face. There's lots of cool uh, sort of cut scenes in the newer games uh, where you get this flash of light across his glasses so it's kind of a signature look for him. I really like that. Uh, the paintwork on his arms and his skin is really nice. They've, they've got that bluish green uh, on the veins to help bring them out, give that kind of realistic look. Um, so pretty cool piece. Now um, the one thing uh, I would say about this is as a standalone piece um, the base is maybe a bit big. It kind of overshadows the character a little bit. Um, but as you'll see, or as you saw in the beginning of the video, when it joins up with, with Guile, it forms kind of a, uh, thematic environmental base. Uh, so Charlie Nash, I think looks good. And again, this is a production sample, so it should be pretty close to what you get as a final product. Uh, it might not be totally, uh, accurate. Some things might change along the line. So, but Overall, this piece I think is pretty good. I like the dynamics of it. I like, uh, again, the base is very cool, even though it is large. Um, you know, it is, is a very nice base. I lots of detail on it. Uh, so very, very cool that way. Uh, overall, I think Charlie Nash looks like a pretty cool piece. Okay, so second of the two pieces here, we've got Guile. And as I said off the top, much more recognizable character for me anyways. Um, I know him from Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 4, the games that I played the most. And uh, I mean, this is a really, really cool statue. Um, I didn't play much as Guile. Uh, I didn't like, I don't like his moveset, the kind of the charge back for the sonic booms and things. 
um, but I played against him many, many times. So it, it definitely is a character I know, um, and he looks really cool, as I said. Uh, they've given him kind of this uh, more realistic uh, look to him. Uh, and that really nice portrait here. I love the, the grimacing, uh, burying his teeth. Uh, it looks like he's really putting a lot into this sonic boom here. You can see his feet digging into the top of this airplane wing and the shards of metal kind of shooting out. Uh, so it looks really, really nice. Uh, again, each one of these little pieces, you know, shards, is a separate piece and they fit in like that. Again, they're numbered so you can find where they go. There is a couple pieces on the back that I'll say fit on with magnets that aren't numbered and they go on the back here, but to his left. So there's two pieces, the one I just showed you and then that one there. Uh, I couldn't figure out where they went there for a little while, but they do go at the back. Um, again, uh, really, really nice job with the paintwork on the veins. Uh, the skin tones look really, really good. And, you know, you got his two American flag tattoos, kind of that signature look. Green cargo pants, uh, green muscle shirt. Uh, I mentioned the portrait looks really, really great. Um, the, you'll notice the dog tag necklace is real metal. Uh, you got two different, two dog tags there. Um, so really nice look to this guy here. You know, the famous flat top hairstyle. Uh, what would have been kind of neat is if they put like a comb in his pocket or something because, you know, one of his victory poses is to, you know, brush up his hair. Um, I like the clear trails of the yellow. Um, they do fit on with a magnet. One thing you'll notice is you can see the magnet in here and that's something that might get touched up uh, later on as production uh, progresses, but it's not too big of a deal because it's at the back of the statue and you, you're probably not going to see it when you display it. But, um, I mean, overall, I mean, between the two, this one's definitely my favorite and, and mostly for character recognition reasons. Again, he's a character that I'm very familiar with. Um, very, very cool. I like the, uh, you know, the expression on his face. He's got the veins in his forehead there. Um, very, very cool piece. I really like this one. So as a standalone piece, I think this one works really well. Uh, the base isn't too overwhelming. And there's lots of cool angles to display it. I either, whether, either if you're looking down at it or looking up at it, uh, straight on. Uh, it doesn't matter with this guy. You're going to get a really cool display angle for him. So I really am a big fan of this guy statue. Okay, so we got the two statues back together in their diorama form here. And the bases do fit together. Uh, there's no physical connection between the two. They just kind of butt up against one another. But there is kind of a notch you'll notice in the middle where you can align them kind of perfect. So they align, you know, look at each other perfectly there. Um, so watch for that when you're putting them together. And as I mentioned, I didn't really love uh, Charlie's base as a standalone piece. It looks kind of big and, and you know, overshadows the character a little bit. But when you put the two together, it looks really, really cool. You got the engine and the airplane wing together. And it's kind of reminiscent of Guile's stages in the game, which always have that uh, aircraft theme. You know, Charlie and Guile being uh, former Air Force buddies. Uh, there's always that theme to Guile's uh, levels. So um, very, very cool, um, you know, ties it into the game environment. I love the environmental base together. They look really, really good. You'll notice as it's a really large statue together as a diorama. Um, so one sixth scale, I know a lot of people think, oh, one sixth. You know, a lot of people say one quarter or fail or whatever. But these look really good together, even though they're smaller characters. It really, I think, commands a lot of presence. Um, so, you know, as a diorama, if you've got room for it, I think it's a really sharp piece. Um, the two guys together, you know, interacting in this fight. It's probably more of a friendly, like, sparring fight because they are good buddies uh, in the storyline. Um, but really, really cool piece. I like, as I said, the, the two bases going together um, really help this piece shine, I think. All right, we're going to wrap up this special preview of the production samples for Connecticut's War Heroes diorama. Uh, featuring Charlie Nash and Guile, of course, from the Street Fighter series. And 
you know, they are two separate statues. You can buy them separate, display them as standalone pieces if you choose. But I think they really shine when you put them together. They're meant to be displayed together, in my opinion. Um, uh, I really like how the bases come together to form this aircraft-themed environmental base. Um, and there's lots of really cool little details with these statues. Um, Nash's glasses, for example, those are separate pieces. They're not cast in with his face. They're separately placed on his face. Um, Giles' uh, dog tag necklace is a, is a real metal chain with two little metal dog tags. Um, I really like the, the portrait on Guile as well. You know, that gritting teeth, uh, determined look on his face. I like the musco muscular uh, details on both guys. And, um, you know, the vein work, the paint work on the veins. They highlighted them with that bluish green. Uh, nice clean paint here. Uh, nice paint job on the, the metal parts with a little bit of rust thrown in. Uh, to give it that added uh, little bit of realism. The turbines uh, on the, and the, this engine, really, really nice details. You know, you got all these fins detailed here as separate pieces, and you got all these fins here, all the inner workings of this engine. So they really didn't spare any detail on the bases themselves. They look really, really cool. I like the shards of metal shooting all over the place. It gives it a little bit of a dynamic flair. Uh, but they really are interacting with each other uh, nicely here. So uh, if you have the room for this piece, uh, I would definitely recommend both because, as I said, they just look, they go so naturally together. It just looks looks better together, I would say. So uh, Connecticut's War Heroes Diorama, Guile and Nash. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the preview. Uh, stay tuned to the channel because we're going to have a ton more stuff coming up this year. We've got some HMO pieces. Uh, we just put up the unboxings for the Sume, Vegeta, and Goku. And we'll have full reviews on those guys. We're going to have Sideshow's new Wolverine. Um, and more from XM. Uh, we're going to have the Tweeterhead Joker coming up uh, hopefully soon. So lots more coming on the channel. More shelf space coming up as well. So keep an eye out for our live stream show that I'm doing along with my co-host Gina. Um... So anyways, again, hopefully you enjoyed the preview, and we'll talk to you guys soon.